to start lesson 4.8 so we are ready for page 280 this is what your page should look like okay the directions are to rewrite the addition problem and then add so the purpose of rewriting the addition problem is to make sure that we are practicing lining up our tens and our ones because our addition problems will not always be set up for us so we need to know how to set them up in a way that is going to make us successful so my math problem is 25 plus 8 Notice that when I write 25, I have a spot for my 10s, a spot for my 1s, and then when I add that other add-in, when I put 8 in there, 8 is a, it belongs in the 1s because it is worth 8 1s, so I line it up with the 5, and now I can go ahead and I can complete my addition sentence. So I'm going to start with my 1s, 5 plus 8, 13, then I can go through and I can add my 10s, 2 10s plus 1 10, 3 10s. So I'm going to do the same thing for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I'm going to line up my 10s and 1s, and then I'm going to complete the addition sentence. So 37 plus 10, I'm going to line up my 10s and my 1s, and then I can complete my addition sentence. 7 plus 0, 7, 3 10s plus 1 10, 4 10s. So my answer would be 47. Number three is 25 plus 45. Why don't you try lining up your numbers, try to line up your add-ins and see if they match mine. 25, I'm gonna line up the four in 45 with my two from 25, and I'm gonna line up my five with my other five. I know that five plus five, that's a double stack that gets me to 10. Now I can add my tens. 1 10 plus 2 tens is 3 tens, 3 tens plus 4 tens, 7 tens. My next problem is 38 plus 29. I'm going to line them up and I start with my 1s. 8 plus 9 gets me to 17. Good job. Okay, got to carry my 10 because I created a 10 because I had so many 1s. I had enough 1s to make a 10. So now I have 1 10 plus 3 tens, which is. 4 tens, 4 tens plus 2 tens, 6 tens. Alright, let's go down to number 5. Okay, 20 plus 45. So I'm going to line them up. Start with my 1s, 0 plus 5. 5, 2 tens, and 4 tens, or 2 plus 4 is 6. Number 6, I have 63 plus 9. 3 plus 9 is 12. I have enough to create another 10, so I have to record that on the other side. 1 plus 6, or 10 plus 60, is 70. All right, I want you to pause the video and do number 7 on your own. Hit play when you're ready to see the answer. 15 plus 36, 6 and 5, or 5 plus 6, is 11. 3 four, five. Did we get the same answer? Let's do that same thing with number eight. 74 plus 18. Go ahead and write your addition sentence. Pause the video, solve it, and see if we match. I'm going to add my ones. Four plus eight is 12. I've got to carry my 10 over. Seven, eight, nine, 92. All right, let's take a look at the next page, page 281. We're going to be doing the same thing, rewriting the addition problem and then add 27 plus 54, 7 plus 4, 11, 5, 6, 7, 1 more than 7 is 8, 34 plus 30. 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, our answer is 64. I'm going to line up 26 and 17. I'm going to add my 1s, 6 1s plus 7 1s, 13, which has 1 10 and 3 1s. I'm going to add my 10s, 1 plus 2, two 1 10 plus 2 10s is 3 10s, 3 10s three tens plus 1 more 10 is 4 10s. Number 12, 48 plus 38. I'm going to add my 1s. 8 plus 8, that's a double stack that gets me to 16. I'm going to put that one with 
the three tens. So one ten plus three tens would be four tens. I know that four plus four or 40 plus 40 is 86. Friends, if you feel like this is going really well for you, go ahead and work through this next row, which would be 13, 14, 15, and 16 on your own. Hit play when you are ready to see my answers. See if we agree. 50 plus 32, 0 plus 2 is 2, 5 plus 3 is 8. 61 plus 38, 1 plus 8 is 9, 6 plus 3, also 9. 37 plus 43, 7 plus 3 is 10. I'm going to put the 1 and the 3 together, that gets me to 40 because it's worth 110 and that 3 is worth 310, so 40 plus 40 is 80. Number 16, 79 plus 17, 9 plus 7, 16, 7, 8, 9. Okay, did we match? Did you and I get all the same answers? I hope so. Number 17, 45 plus 40. Please pay careful attention to how you are lining your numbers up. Are your ones with your ones and are your tens with your tens? We can't get sloppy, friends. Going to add up my ones. 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 tens plus 4 tens is 8 tens. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 tens plus 5 tens, 7 tens. 17 plus 76. I'm still lining them up each and every time because I need to have neat work so I don't get the wrong answer. 7 plus 6, 13. 7 tens and 2 more tens, 93. 68 plus 29. 8 plus 9 is 17. 6 plus 1 more is 7. 7 and 2 more, 8, 9. 97. Okay, number 21. For which of the problems of the above could you find the sum without rewriting it? So, for example, which one of these up here, questions 9 through 20, do you feel like you could have solved without having to rewrite anything? If I had to pick one, friends, I'm going to go with number 10. Can you guess why? I can solve number 10 by using mental math. I can start at 34 and count up by three tens. 34, 44, 54, 64. So I can count on by three tens on number 10. Go ahead and pause and write that down. All right, let's take a look at the problem solving. Okay, so it says to use the table and write or draw to show how you solved the problem. So this right here, this is the table, and it's talking about the points that were scored this season. In this first column here, we see the player, okay? And your players are Anna, Lou, Becky, and Kevin. And then in your second column, it talks about the number of points. So Anna scored 26 points. Lou scored 37 points, Becky scored 23 points, and then Kevin scored 19 points. Okay. Which two players, so I'm down here on question 22, which two players scored 56 points in all? Which means that you can only pick two players, you're going to add their number of points together and see which two players would have scored 56 points in all. Go ahead and pause the video now to solve. If you chose, whoops, excuse me, friends. If you chose the players, Lou and Kevin, you are right. I found out how many points Lou and Kevin solved by adding them together. So I wrote 37 points for Lou, 19 points for Kevin. I'm going to add them together. 7 plus 9 is... 16, carry the 1, 1 10 plus 3 tens is 4 tens, 4 tens plus 1 more ten is 5 tens, and my goal was to get to 56 points. Okay. 23, Sean says that he can find the sum of 20 plus 63 without, re re without rewriting it. So that means that he doesn't have to rewrite it 
up and down like this and solve it. Okay, Sean doesn't have to do that. He says he can do mental math. Mental math means that he can do it in his head. Explain how Sean is able to do that using mental math. Go ahead and pause and write your answer. Okay. When I add 20 plus 63, I can count on by 20, which is equal to two tens. So then my tens place in 63 gets bigger by how many tens? By two tens. Okay, if you don't have something close to that, then you need to go ahead and change your answer. Uh, right, let's go to the homework page. Your homework pages are 283, 284. Go ahead and tear them out, please. Okay. Pause the video right now to put your name at the top of your paper. We had four no-namers, so get your name on your paper. All right, we can snowflake one, two, five, six. You're going to circle three, four, seven, and eight. Go ahead and make your paper look like mine, please. Number nine is also going to be a snowflake. You're going to use this table again, just like we did on the problem solving. Okay. And then number 10, I'm going to put a C by number 10. Number 10 is going to be a challenge problem for you. On the back side, number one is a snowflake. You can circle two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, this is what your math paper should look like right now. Go ahead and pause and make it look like mine. All right, I'm going to go through and I'm going to read through every single problem on here so you can hear me say it and you're able to work through it. Okay, the directions for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are to rewrite the numbers and then add. Okay, so you have to rewrite that math sentence, lining up your tens and ones, and then adding them together to figure out your sum. Number one is 27 plus 19. Number two is 36 plus 23. Don't forget to line up your tens and ones. Number three is 31 plus 29. Number four is 48 plus 23. Line up your tens and ones. Number five, 53 plus 12. Number six, 69 plus 13. Number seven, 24 plus 38, number 8, 46 plus 37. Okay, number 9, it says to use the table, show how you solve the problem. We want to know how many pages did Sasha and Kara read together. Go ahead and solve. Number 10, your challenge problem. Explain what can happen if you line up the digits incorrectly when you rewrite addition problems. So when you are rewriting those addition problems to go up and down, to go vertically, what can happen if you don't line up the tens and ones? On the back side, number one, what is the sum of 39 plus 17? Line up your tens and ones. Number two, what is the sum of 28 plus 16? Number three, what is an, what number is another rate of, way to write 60 plus 4. So, what number is 60 plus 4? Number 4. The classroom has four desks in each row. There are five rows. How many desks are there in the classroom? Number 5. A squirrel collected 17 acorns. Then the squirrel collected 31 acorns. How many acorns did the squirrel collect? Number six, what number can be written as three hundreds, seven tens, five ones? Okay, after this, your job is extra math, and then you can choose between Prodigy or Dreambox. Thank you, friends.